key to not being embarrassed by this is to just look right here and not, look, <laughs> not make any, any eye contact. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait what? what? This is your weekly roundup of questionable content put out on the internet by professional footballers for no other reason than they've got nothing better to do. Wait, what? Kicking it off this week, we've got Jordan Graham, straight out of Wolverhampton or Oxford? He's hurt somewhere. Jordan tweets out, and I quote, the amount of girls I see use the dog filter, I'm like, stop being a sheep. Then I see their whole face and I'm like, oh, this sh use the dog filter. Wait, what? Jordan, well, mm. I'm gonna throw it up on Snapchat. We're gonna use the dog filter. Oh, what's up, Jordan? Guys, we're filming something new. And this is part of it, I promise. Stay tuned, coming out on YouTube today, I promise. Up next in professional footballers are people too. We've got our beloved Jeff Cameron, Stoke City and US International stuck in traffic. It's a poo emoji show with traffic today. At least the carpool karaoke is on fire. Calling out James Corden is a very strong move. Who's in charge of the ox court? That's a great question. What it highlights though is that traffic was big in the UK this week. May United was 30 minutes late to their game, which is why they lost, in my opinion, but I'm also a United fan, so yeah. what do I know? It also begs the question, on the United bus, who got the ox cord? I'm gonna bet that it was probably Juan Mata. I think it's uh, Anthony Martial, personally. Ooh. All right, let us know in the comments who you think on the Man United bus gets the ox cord. 15 second skill check. Possibly tweet of the week right here from Haybridge Gardens FC, which may or may not be a real club. Honestly, I don't even care. I hope they're not real. All right, anyway. U18s need a keeper for 45 minutes on Saturday. The boundary restriction on Scott's electronic bracelet only covers him for one half the pitch. Kurt, you got someone? I know someone. I'm in. Matt, you're 26. Hashtag Critch and Goal, let's get it trending. Critch, can I get two claps? This is clap back of the week. Wilfred Zaha, at Wilfred Zaha. Firstly, shut your mouth, you annoying fool. And secondly, if me tweeting my team bothers you, unfollow me. Got him. That comes as a response to, it doesn't really matter. Point is, Wilfred Zaha, you get the clapback award of the week. And lastly, number five, the beauty that is Juan Mata. And I quote, hi, here's my latest post. One hour behind, we want to be in Wembley, with the link. See, the great thing about this here is that no matter how famous you are, you still do things an hour late. YouTubers upload an hour late. It doesn't really matter. Juan Mata, blog post, an hour late. Good on you, Juan. I'm an hour late to work almost every day. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't Wait, say that. What? Anyway, we are all Juan. Juan together. Hashtag Juan together. Juan together. Don't think we forget about Instagram. Your weekly Ronaldo selfie is this one. Let us know in the comments who delivered a better selfie, us or CR7. All right, that's it for us this week. Just like Chabi Alonso's first tweet, we're always checking Twitter. Wait, what?